What's different this time is that you have the same issue with price, right? Potentially appraisals are not going to come out because of depending on the time that the person had purchased the property. But now interest rates have now made it not affordable potentially for you. So that's where I think you have, you've got the similar thing playing out, but you have a little extra spice on it. And that's the interest rates and affordability not being there. And that could be, I mean, there's, you know, you, as long as you can weather the storm and you can get in, if you can qualify for the mortgage and if you are short and you can get in, obviously close your deal because we know, you know, I don't, I don't want to say we know because we put, but as an investor, my thesis is I'm a big bull, bull on real estate long term, especially in Canada with the immigration and everything else, supply demand issues. If you're not thinking you're in a bull in that situation, I think it's 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 foolish almost. It, like the thesis makes a lot of sense. But if you can't close, you know what I mean? If you have an issue there, you know, you really need to reach out to the right people to see if you can get help. There may be someone that you get to help, you know, you get it off your plate, assign it over. I mean, it, there will be some hurt. I mean, I'm not, there, there's no question, but I also think though that hurt is going to be only experienced by people that bought at the height of the market. And with that, there's lessons there. I think that, you know, whenever I've lost money on something, I don't sit there and go, Oh, I lost money. Oh, it's terrible. I go, what's the lesson? And, and then I make sure like in my future investor life that I don't make those same mistakes. 